the international scientific community and vaccine developers are encouraging to look at alternative approaches besides, for instance, an updated monovalent Omicron vaccine, which anyway remains a reasonable candidate to advance to clinical studies. In the regulator's view, companies should explore the feasibility of developing bivalent or multivalent variant vaccine to determine if they would offer advantages to monovalent vaccines in terms of ability to cross-neutralize other variants of concern. From a scientific standpoint, the studies underpinning the approval of a vaccine with a different composition will require clinical data that demonstrates an immune response measured as neutralizing antibodies that is superior to the one generated by the boosters currently available. The ability of the updated vaccine to cross-neutralize other variants of concern will be an additional feature with respect to the breadth of protection that could be provided by the updated vaccines. EMA, in his role as chair of ICMRA, underlined the need for the development of a long-term strategy on the types of vaccine needed to manage COVID-19 in the future. This is an ongoing global discussion that sits at the crossroads of science, public policy, and public health, and one that will require coordination among numerous stakeholders. The decision to update the vaccines warrants collaboration among public health decision makers at all levels, including WHO. As Omicron and variant of concerns that might be emerging in the future can impact the effectiveness of monoclonal antibodies and oral antivirals, DMA is also exploring options for collecting additional data to guide the use of these antiviral agents when different variants of concerns are in circulation and based on the expected activity. All these antiviral agents can be valuable complementary tools to tackle the virus. Together with immunomodulatory agents to be used when disease progresses, all these therapeutics provide a growing armamentarium for effectively treating patients with COVID-19. And our work does not stop here. While we are actively monitoring the wave currently ongoing, there is still an active pipeline of COVID-19 vaccines and therapeutic candidates. EMA is constantly engaging with the developers and is committed to evaluating any future market authorization application received in the shorter time frame possible.